hey guys you're welcome back to SNS kitchen you're very welcome thank you so much for tuning in so on today's episode i am making this delicious and mouth-watering ofe ugu it's called ofe ugu which is pumpkin soup yeah so without wasting much of your time let's get into the cooking To get started, I'll be placing all the meats I'll be using for this recipe into the pot. They have the same cooking time, yeah? So I introduced my oxtail, my beef and cow legs. Make use of any protein of your choice. Guys, I've washed this meat, they're all clean, yeah? So I introduced my stock fish head and I'll be adding my onions and salt to this, then a seasoning cube. When I'm done, I'm going to mix everything well to combine and I'm going to introduce my water to cover the meat and I'll be cooking this on a medium heat for 25 to 30 minutes. You can leave this to cook on its own for 7 minutes to produce its own juice before adding water but I have my stock fish in there so I needed to add much water, okay? Next step, I'm going to start cooking the cocoa yam, which I've gone ahead to clean very well. I'll be cooking this on a high heat for 12 minutes till it softens. This is going to serve as my thickener. If you can't find this, make use of your cornstarch. Yeah, anything that can thicken a soup can also thicken this one. Okay. Moving on to the next level, I have to start washing the dried fish, okay? This is my dried fish. To make it easier for me to debone, I'm going to pour a hot water on it and introduce salt. This is to kill the germs on it and also make it easier for me to debone. So I'm going to set that aside. Moving on to our vegetables, this is my ugu. This is the chairman of this occasion, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start plucking the leaves. Yeah, you can't cook it the way it is. You have to pluck the leaves very well. Make sure you pluck the vital parts like not If you pluck the stems, it's going to be hard in the soup. So we need only the leaves for this recipe. Okay, so I am done. I'm going to sprinkle salt over that and start the washing process. You can as well place that into a bowl of water, introduce your salt and wash. Okay, sometimes I love washing mine like this. Like when the water is running over that, I'll pick them one one. Okay, it gives me the satisfaction that it's clean. Okay, so moving on to the next stage, I'm going to be introducing my palm nut cream into this bowl. If you're making this recipe with red palm oil, please exclude this stage, okay? So I love making my ofe de with concentrated palm nut cream. Ofe de means any soup you are cooking with cocoa yams, okay? So I love making mine with palm nut concentrate. There's this consistency it gives to it and the taste is out of this world. That's my own take anyway. So I'm going to leave it to sit here for five minutes. Next step, I pulled my stockfish out to prevent it from splitting. It is soft already. And over here, our cocoa yam is done cooking. It is soft already. To know if your cocoa yam is soft, just press it gently. If the skin peels out easily, then it is done cooking. Okay, please make sure it is soft so that you can be able to pound it or you can be able to blend. Yeah, so I'm going to peel everything and start the blending process. To start the blending process, I'll be making use of my food processor. Make use of your normal blender or your mortar and pistol okay blend very well till a paste is formed moving on i'm going to start blending my crayfish my pepper and my ogilibo i'll blend everything together you can as well make use of your pistol and mortar to pound this it all depends on you okay i'll blend this very well till it becomes smooth 
guys this is the main ingredient here there's no ofe head there without ogilibo or obey so make sure you use your obe or ogili while preparing this soup so i introduced my water to help the blending process and i'm going to blend this till it appears smooth and we are done blending i checked on our meat it has been cooking for 25 minutes and the meat has become soft so next step i'm going to introduce our dissolved palm nut concentrate okay so introduce everything but avoid the bottom this black thing that settles there avoid it okay we don't want to have that in our soup so i'm going to mix everything thoroughly to combine and i'll be adding our blended cocoa yam beets by beet when i'm done introducing that into the pot i'm going to stir gently cover my pot and let this cook for seven to eight minutes till the soup thickens remember this kokoyam serves as our thickener seven minutes after this is how the soup looks like so beautiful and it has thickened this is the correct consistency that i want to have yeah so to this i'll be adding our blended pepper crayfish and ogilibo i'll add that into the pot and introduce one seasoning cube and to that again i'll be adding my salt then introduce my dried fish that is my deboned dried fish and lastly i'll be adding our stock fish head i'm going to mix everything thoroughly but gently to combine cover my pot and let this continue cooking for the next five to seven minutes seven minutes later i checked on our soup and it is ready to accept the last ingredient which is the vegetable so before adding the vegetable i'll turn off my cooker and introduce that gently and stir everything thoroughly but gently this is to prevent our fish from splitting further so when i'm done mixing the vegetable i'm going to cover my pot and let the heat wilt the vegetable it's not good to overcook your vegetable guys make sure your cooker is totally turned off yeah so guys we are virtually done cooking i am from eastern part of nigeria and we enjoy this soup the most like we enjoy it the most it's so so yummy so delicious you can enjoy this with apple that is fufu your pounded yam, your plantain fufu, virtually any fufu of your choice, okay? Prepare this and let me know what you think in the comment section, yeah? And I'm using this medium to say a very big thank you to my new subscribers, my new followers. Thank you so, so very much. I truly appreciate. And to those who share my videos, you guys are so amazing. Thank you so much. And thanks for staying with me throughout this episode. I truly appreciate ya. Until I come your way next time, remain blessed. I love you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.